Hello, my dear friends in Christ, how are we doing? God bless you. I'm happy we have met again. Today, let's talk about the words you say, the words you speak, what comes out of your mouth. That can make you or can unmake you. I was reading Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 onwards, when the Bible talked about the creation accounts. When the Bible says, and Adam was alone, and God said it was not good for man to be alone. What was it? Sometimes in our lives we feel alone. We feel the need for something else. We feel that our environments are giving us out. And that is the point when God will answer us, because he answers us in our needs. And so when Adam was alone, the Bible says, and God provided, created so many things, but the key was that he was supposed to name them. And so scripture says they brought him the cattle, they brought him the trees, they brought him all the animals, and he named them. And that was their names forever till now. But I want to ask you, when you are in your own circles, when you are in need of something, when you pray to God and events are presented before you, how do you name them? Remember, whatever you say will be the name. And so when an illness, a challenge is put before you, do you say that that is what is going to lead me to death? I'm sorry, it might lead you to death. If you can say that is my challenge, you are in to fight it and every challenge is supposed to end with a win. Are you ready to win or you see that as your doom? When you sit in an examination room and you realize that your, your questions are not the one you were expecting, do you just give up and pronounce your doom in your marriage, in your relationships, everywhere you find yourself and however you find yourself, what do you say? How do you address them? Remember, one of them was Eve. And when Eve was brought before Adam, Adam said, Behold the bone of my bone, the, the flesh of my flesh. And remember, he stayed forever even till now. And so Jesus will say that whatever God has put together and how was it done through Adam's word. And so you cannot put asunder. It becomes part of you. Remember Jesus said, whatever idle word you say, you'll be judged for it. What have you said in the past and what are you saying today about your future, about your past, about your current situation? Be careful what you say. I wish that today you rise and speak positive things about you. People are depressed, people are anxious, people are going through a lot because that is what they keep telling themselves. I know you can make it. I know no matter what you are going through, God is in to protect you and to answer your prayers. Remember that in Genesis chapter 2, Adam was lonely. That was his need. God sees you and is ready to provide but you must name whatever comes first. Name things well. I don't know what you are going through, my brother. I don't know what you are going through, my sister. All that I came to tell you is that speak positive things into your life. Talk well. Don't speak doom. Sometimes it's not just on our lips, but it's in our minds what we think about. But if you are able to think positive, and talk positive. Whatever it is God identifies about you, like in the time of Adam, he identified him as a lonely man and also was ready to provide. You will find your Eve, the time that will make you cry out, at last, what I awaited. At last, the bone of my bones. At last, the good health. At last, anything I wanted. Think about this. And I believe if you begin to speak well about yourself, God will surely make you what he intended you to be. Shalom. God bless you. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.